Hello YouTube viewers, today I'm going to be testing a furnace blower motor and bench testing it to make sure it works and one way to do that is to start one contact on the light and then go through all the different terminals and test the resistance value it's black is as the which is the highest speed and it'll be the lowest resistance value. It's high. Medium. Then you have low. And then there's another one. I don't know what they really are on this motor, but it's four speed motor on this one. And that'll be your highest value, which is, I think, I'm trying to show you the meter. I think it was seven point something, seven point six. And that tells you that these are okay if you. If you get just zero, you get zero L, that means one of them contacts is burnt out and it's not working. If you get a straight zero and nothing, or just a plain zero point zero, that means something's shorting out. Then on to testing it. You got a capacitor here. This one I repaired the connection here. I think that's why it wasn't working. The connection here was broken. I tested it. It seemed broken. I pulled the connector. It popped right off so I replaced the connector. And I think that's why it's not working but we're going to have to test it. testing cord for safety. Neutral. Um, I'm gonna start at start at slow speed. See what happens. That one, the lowest speed works. of knocking around and that 
that speed's knocking, so could be something wrong with that. That oh. bangs her own, that's the bearings, so it's basically a shot. It, it's usable, but it won't be the best to use it. Probably just end up banging around until it sh stops working. So that's how you test one of these in your shop to see if it's the motor or the com uh, what the heck? I'll show you if the capacitor is bad. I'll show you what it does. Try the slow speed. I'll show you what happens with the capacitor. It just hums. Doesn't even start. And I can tell this terminal here is pretty loose too. It's probably working its way up. Probably the vibration is what cause these connections to break, but I'm gonna replace this and get these people back up and running again. It, it makes noise. It works, but it makes noise and make the bearings are gone. So it just makes sense to replace it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe if this is helpful. And thanks for watching.